go when this all started with more than 200 nations staking their claim to be top of the world well 32 made it to the finals here and after a tournament spanning the better part of a month featuring endless football on almost every day it is a straight fight now for the title of the world's best it has been a great festival of friendship of sportsmanship so far and one we hope which will end with a flourish Olympico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. We stand for the national anthem of France. Strains of the national anthem of Brazil. Well, over the years, one hears so much about what players get up to or feel like in the minutes leading up to this biggest of all games. Perhaps some of those things best not mentioned, but I wonder what honesty they are thinking now. Well, Peter, from memory, I would imagine that it hasn't changed that much, and it's a case of, of just making sure your individual duties are done properly, not to let the team down and, and then turn your nerves into a, a winning focus and determination. The head has to rule the heart. Passion has its part to play, but the brain needs to stay sharp. Well, this is it. As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can uh, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Conte, Mbappe, Mbappe, and he's made certain that won't get through, gets it upfield, well played, he saw that coming, Mondi, Titi, Popper, Mondi, and it's Lamar. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Pogba. Conte. Mbappe clips one through. And that's been levered clear. Rafael Varane. Renato Augusto did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Neymar. Felipe. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Pogba. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Can take a definite foul there. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Paulinho. It's Paulinho! 
He's looking to get there first. Looking for a decent ball in. Is it in? Forward it goes. And it's Felipe. Neymar. It is a corner. Mbappe, good running with the ball, can they build on it? Giroud. Pogba. Firmino, absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire a commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. And it's Pogba. That intervention was very necessary. Alinho gets rid without sophistication. Pogba plays it forward. In comes the delivery. Felipe Luis scoots it to safety. Danilo. More than 15 minutes till half time. France so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Lamar aimed low and direct. Lamar. Giroud with a. Can he finish? Goal! France! That could turn out to be a big, big goal. That's wonderfully done. Chris Pitt, true finish. Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day. France take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Mondi. Mbappe. Pushes it out wide. Lovely bit of skill there. And it's Conte. Pogba. Chance to break. Neymar looking to get on the end of this. Felipe. Just brushed off the ball there. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Ball's gone out of play. Lobs it in gently. Well read, he sorted that out. Mendy goes looking. Pogba. Lamar. Jao Miranda gets into the right position to intercept. Hence he's got rid of that.
And it's Griezmann. Chipped through. Jao Miranda knocks it away. William could move up a gear here. Danilo is charging up on the overlap. William shoots. Oh, and with that, the half time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. An awful decent game up to now. Half time in the final, Jim, how do you read it? France have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half time, but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half time. France come in, having established that lead. Okay, where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. So we're already into the second period. France carrying a one-goal lead. He's left his man. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Mbappe plays a clever pass. And that's been levered clear. Lamar gets it back. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those breaking passes just to spread the play. Kante gets it back. William. Danilo William Danilo There's no flag Renato Augusto crosses in a low one This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line Frighten the people getting in behind Yeah, absolutely, it just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind but the runners Shiro! Now a chance to break. Kante battles to win it back. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Away from immediate danger. Paulinho. Oh, this looks promising. Got to make this count. Beautifully done. Pogba. So, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Big chance to get at them. Going through. Brazil are definitely going about this the right way. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Neymar. Brazil making consecutive changes here. Swept in. Titi has to get it forward quickly. We sit high. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Fernandinho. And it's Douglas Costa. Head towards the front then. Well positioned to make that interception. Firmino. Rafael Varane. Well, it's normally around now that the managers think about making changes. And it's Giroud. 
Are the balls come loose? Oh, this looks promising. Got to make this count. And it's Sidibe. Griezmann. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Firmino. Hits that long. And here's the... Douglas Costa. He's been taken out. Could that be a penalty? No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. No second thought, a straight red card. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. We'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Brazil are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Now it's Neymar. Shakes the shoots! Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Aimed long and direct. Very well to intervene. France are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. And it is a narrow lead, but they are clinging on to it right now. Just a few moments from glory. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Dick's one in. And it's hoisted clear. France probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. Neymar goes looking. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Mbappe! Gorgeous control there. There are a few waiting for it. That's a throw. Brazil have decided now is the time to make their final change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Balls loose, who's getting there? And that's that. France are the champions of the world. Football's ultimate prize. This is Utopia. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment.